Welcome to Literature Live. I'm Erica Rayer, the producer. Today's reading is Part 3 of Yoke Boy, written by Jake Lazinski and narrated by Stephen Sennert. English, easily your favorite class, comes next. Your teacher is an aging hippie. He openly admits to have followed the Grateful Dead around during the past summers, but never admits he's done LSD. For a school so against drugs, there sure are a lot of teachers into them. You continue a unit on Shakespeare's Macbeth. Mr. Clemens assigns students to read for each character. Through a cruel twist of fate, you are assigned to read Macbeth's lines. Every line comes back at you. The pressure is building every time you look away from your black and green textbook. If you screw up, judgment will rain down on you like a plague of locusts. The brick walls encasing the classroom seem to be caving in around you. The bookshelves littering the room are no longer friendly looking. You read your line. Then another. And another. And another. Until the class ends. You have a headache from hell. But Mr. Clemens leans in and says, Great job reading today. From that one piece of encouragement, Yoke Boy finds the strength to go to lunch. U.S. History, or more aptly named, American Studies, begins with the usual Pledge of Allegiance from Mr. Cooper. He refuses to change the Under God lyrics since the school board voted on taking it out last year, and now makes the class repeat the same monotonous ode they were forced to recite this morning. Mr. Cooper yells about the liberal media for a few minutes before talking about Jefferson's numerous slave affairs. You sit in the back row and doodle for most of class. The picture today is a portrait of George Washington. Midway through class, you realize that you have no idea why you drew George Washington, but it looks decent. Mr. Cooper has caught you before. Maybe this way he wouldn't get mad for you at drawing all class. He doesn't notice the entire class, and once again you learn nothing. As the bell rings and afternoon announcements come on, you laugh quietly to yourself, because it's April and the class just finished the Revolutionary War unit. Mr. Cooper refuses to let the class out during announcements. You look at the wall, wait patiently, and eventually... You're free, Yoke Boy. Tune in next week to hear the conclusion of Yoke Boy. Music contributions by Carter McGriff. Thank you for listening to Literature Live. This has been Erica Rayer. Now back to High Noon Friday.